G'day everyone, welcome back to Trev Dog Gaming Channel on YouTube. This is Seven Days to Die and we are in episode four. Now I have done a little bit of grinding off camera. Um, I did in fact go out and grab um, some loot, which was fantastic, and I did manage uh, to pick up this three book bundle from the noon airplane drop. So if I open this, what's it going to give me? Pistol Pete, I can use that. The Great Heist, I'll use that. And Urban Combat, Volume 1, I'll use that. So I've got a few. I have a few now in here, in my books list. Um, a long, long, long way to go. So Spear Hunter seems to be quite a popular one. And so does Needle and Thread and especially Ranger's Guide to Archery. So I've got a few things going. Um, Character-wise, uh, yeah, I made a couple of other things off camera. I made just a, a set of gloves and some and some shoes. Uh, it does help you a little bit, um, not a lot. Um, basically one cold resist and one hot resist, but you know, it is what it is. You just have to make do with some basic stuff to start with. The only armor that I've really got, to be honest with you, is 7.5, and I think most of that is really coming from my mining helmet. So that's handy to have. I have a, a light so I can do a little bit of mining at night sort of thing, which is really, really handy to get that so early on. Um, I did find an egg. Um, not, not that thrilling, uh, just the one egg, but I did find some water and I've made some more red tea, which is uh, pretty handy. And that's what we're aiming for, is as much of this um, red tea as we can possibly get. Um, I'm trying to organise a few things in my inventory here. Um, I might move these around a bit. As I said, once I start to build the base a bit bigger, I can put some bigger rideable storage chests on the wall and expand everything a, a great deal more than I have at the moment. I might go up. It's almost 8 o'clock, so we're not far off coming down for the, for the night. Um, I did clear some trees too, which is a good thing to do. Um, and I planted a few seeds. So uh, it, wasn't, it was a mediocre... Um, day I think in seven days but um, yeah I'll just grab a few more trees before it becomes nightfall because I expect that I'll be doing a fair bit of work on the base um, I don't really want to travel too far to get these trees so we'll end up cutting down some and maybe maybe over here along this edge or something I don't know we'll plant some trees a bit closer to the house make it a little bit uh, easier <coughs> Excuse me. To be able to go and pick up timber, and it gets easier and easier as you start planting fields and fields and fields of um, trees. So every time you cut down a tree, I'll get some timber and also get a couple of seeds. So you basically get to multiply your forest, I guess. Which is such a green thing to do, isn't it, these days? Harvest the natural resources. God gave us and then basically do the right thing and replant them. Let's see, we have got a few more to do just here and then I am going to go and plant a little forest not far from the base and then I think the tree, maybe just a few days, it doesn't take that long wish it was like that in real life, but it only takes a few days for it to grow into a mature tree. I'm not sure exactly how many days, could be two, could be five, something like that. And then basically, um, we'll have, uh, what have we got now? We've got over 3,000 timber, hey? So, that's not too bad. That's a, a pretty good uh, amount of timber to have for the night. I. I really don't like these sorts of trees. They don't give you much timber, but gee, they're hard to see through, hey. I don't like them being around. This is a bird's nest with something in it. Eggs, eggs, eggs. Damn it! Oh, just, yeah. I've, got, I've still got a, a little bit of meat. If I had a grill, I could actually just cook up grilled meat. 
which isn't fantastic, but it's not too bad. Um, but yeah, the best thing at the moment is really to get as many eggs as I can, keep the old bacon and eggs process going. So, 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 how about we, no, seed please, up on the top here, we'll just replant this whole area up here, put um, a fair few trees up on this ridge, and then later on we'll have a little mini forest that we can come and f harvest all the, all the timber from. So that's, what, 18 I had, so... That should be pretty good. There's actually a fair bit of goldenrod tea and um, red tea or chrysanthemum uh, flowers up here as well, so I've got to remember that. It's not a bad place to come and, and loot. So I have, these are the oak seeds, so I just plant these ones here as well. So that's a good thing to do. Um, so yeah, not, not bad. I'm kind of prepared. I don't think I have enough uh, I don't have a massive amount of food, put it that way, ready for the night. Um, I've only got three bacon and eggs, plenty of water. That's that's not a problem. Let's have a look at my food. Okay, so I need one now. Two's not really enough, to be honest, to get you through the night. How about... I've still got, say, an hour left of running around. Let's just head... Let's just head over this direction and see if I can find some more eggs in the bird's nests. I don't think I've really been over this area very much, so... And it's quiet, hey? Like, there's no zombies around at the moment. Which is a bit, um... A bit chilling, because you kind of think, hang on, are they saving all that up for 10 o'clock? <laughs> to come and launch an attack, or ambush me or something? I don't know. I don't think so, but... Yeah sometimes wonder. Um, the worst thing that they can do is send in something stupid like a bear or a bunch of dogs. And I have had that before. You think, oh man, that's ridiculous. Very early on you've got hardly any protection and they send in eight dogs or something. Hey, there's little Stevie. Pick up a little bit of XP from Stevie. Tell me, Stevie, is there eggs around? I'm looking for eggs, dude. Can you help? Apparently not. Um, see, I can put my mining light on, but all it does is help attract zombies. Come on, guys, where's the eggs? Eggs, eggs, eggs. Got to be more bird's nests around. I'm possibly just running past them, so I've got to be careful I don't go too nuts. Um, oh, it's Ronnie! Hello, dude. You know where the eggs are, dude? Can you help me with that? No, he's not pointing in the right direction. I still can't see. There you go, look. Oh, man. <laughs> you get so excited when you go, there's another nest. And then there's nothing in it but feathers. <gasps> do I do get excited? There's two eggs! I mean, at the end of the day, what did I just do? Created one bacon and eggs. Although I shouldn't complain, I mean, that's better than nothing. Come on, just uh, another another one or two nests with eggs in would be awesome. Oh yes, thank you game, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, because yeah, when you're mining and stuff, you're using up so much energy that you go through your food pretty blinking quick. Now, the, only thing I, the only thing I don't like about the hilly parts in the game is that you can't see the, the nests very easily. And obviously the darker it gets, the harder it gets as well. Oh man, really? wonder if this zombie can help at all. Hit him on the noggin! No, apparently no, that's a no. I think I can still hear a zombie somewhere in the bush here. Zombies, okay. Bears, dogs, no. No thanks. I mean, it makes the game interesting, I suppose, because it keeps you wondering. Another, another honey, another honey. I got a honey, honey. <laughs> How cool.
cool, how cool, how cool. At least that means if I do survive an attack from the dogs, but I pick up the anthraxy stuff, I'm still going to be safe. Or I could go visit a nurse. I could say, Nursey, I got poisoned, can you help me? And she's basically going to say, not really, I can give you more anthrax. Or whatever it is. Alright, I'm going to have to start making my way back. Hey, there's the skateboard guy. How's your skateboard going, dude? Hey, you doing well? I heard that you had an accident, you had a bung leg. Is that right? No? Was it that leg? That leg? It was that leg. Oh, typical, wasn't it, hey? Well, he's down and out. Alright, it's almost 10 o'clock. I'm going to have to head back to base before something disastrous happens. Um, well, I've got four eggs. Better than nothing, hey? Um, you know, that could be the difference between really struggling to keep, you know, energy and food levels up. Hey, look, somebody planted a whole bunch of trees. Who could that be? Jeez, I wonder. Two eggs! Yay, there's three. Oh, I can hear the zombies. They won't follow me. They won't know what's going on. I don't have a clue. It's about to go ten o'clock. Drop down that hole. Woo! Okay. Well, to be honest, that was a bit more successful. A few more eggs. Don't you love that music? <laughs> Alright, let's grab the meat. Let's put on uh, the three bacon and eggs as quickly as possible. Um, let's throw a bit of this stuff in. Um, our resources. Tell you what I might have to do is put some of my feathers in here. If you tend to get them awfully quick. Alright, <coughs> well that should be good. Let's just repair everything, so you can make sure everything's up to scratch. Uh, where was... I think... where did I put the seeds again? Up here? Somewhere? Somewhere, somewhere, somewhere? Where did I put them? Not in there. Not in there. Am I going nuts? Hang on. I can't remember where I put them. Am I missing something? Unless they're up the top. Oh, they might be up the top, actually. Alright, just throw it back in there for the time being. Have my bacon and eggs done. Alright, so now we've got five bacon and eggs, ten red tea, and still have three golden rod tea. That should get us through some of our um, base expansion, I suppose you want to call that. This is really what this episode is. A bit of looting, but more the the base expansion. So, um, I might go this way. Um, I could go in any direction, really. <laughs> to be honest, it doesn't really matter. Alright, I might have to speed some of this stuff up, so I'm not sure if you really want to see me doing this. Um, yeah, that's kind of interesting, I suppose. And the the cutting away of the rock is a bit quicker now that I've got this um, better stone axe. I just thought about something though. Points wise, I've got two, right? Uh, in here, I need to get to level five, so I won't. In terms of digging out, um, upgrading this at the moment won't make any difference for tonight. Either will that, either will that. So maybe... Position... Uh, that will happen a little bit down the track. I could do the bicycle. Advanced engineering makes workbenches. It needs a level 4. To me that makes a little bit more sense. So I might up that one. So technically at the moment I can make workbenches and I can make cement mixes. Now it's just a case of digging out some more space so I can make those things. Um, what did I do with the forge? The forge technically has absolutely nothing in it, right? So what I might do 
let's put a little bit of stone in it and start it going. Actually, I think I did have a fair bit of stone, didn't I? Yeah, there you go. Alright, well how about... How about we put a fair bit of stone in and that can be doing something. So now I'm getting some stone, that means I can basically make cement. Um, so every 12 stones that you have in here, smelted inside the forge, creates one cement. Uh, it doesn't take very long for this, e even if you're out during the day, for this thing to be grinding away and smelting the stone, and then you end up with your limit, which is about, I think, 30,000 stone. So, and like digging out a place down here and making mines, that, that gives you so much stone. Um, even more so once you upgrade from a little stone axe to an iron pickaxe and a steel pickaxe. But yeah, we'll just mine out this whole area. So, to let you know as well, this is what the plan is. The staircase that I come down, so this, this line through here, if that's the middle, what I would like to do is to create um, seven blocks that way, seven blocks that way, and the seventh block on each side is now a timber wall that runs perpendicular to this wall. And so that'll frame this, whatever you want to call it, manufacturing area, um, where I have all my workbenches and cement mixes and so on. And then we have to go back um, from the front door about seven or eight blocks. So that's the goal there as well. So it's, it's it's a reasonable amount of material to have to dig out. And so that's why I'm kind of letting you know um, I might end up having to speed this up or do a little bit more off camera perhaps, I don't know. But that's the plan. Um, yeah, it's funny, some people don't mind just watching this ho-hum digging out stuff. And other people just find it as boring as anything. I suppose if it is boring, you just go through, speed through the video, I suppose. But, um, <clears throat> yeah, I like, I like to include it, I suppose. Especially if I'm explaining things, or my thinking, or what I think I'm going to expect to have happen in the game in the next day or so. That kind of chit-chatty talk. Um, where are we? Okay, I'm going to have to start making some some wooden frames up, so hang on, let's just fix that, go back to wooden shapes, let's make another 22 of them while we're digging this out a bit more. So eventually this is going to be strengthened with some concrete. It, you know, it's one of those things, it's more of a warm and fuzzy feeling, it doesn't necessarily mean you're going to be attacked down here, but um, the algorithm does do some funny things. I don't know whether it's the distance you, that you're you are underground that makes all the difference? I, I don't know. Um, but that's kind of what we need to do. So we'll get all this dug out. A bit hard to tell sometimes whether that's too far back or not. Um, too, it is a bit too far. I can fill that in later. Wrong tool, Trev. Yeah, so, uh, it'll take a little bit of work to get it all done. Might help out here a little bit by throwing another torch in there. It feels so much less claustrophobic once you start digging through things. Expanding the whole base down here. Uh, I just can't wait to see what it looks like again. It's just the best feeling. Warm and cosy feeling. You've survived. You've got a little safe house sort of thing. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. And then way into the future, you know, a fair few episodes on, we'll end up being on the surface with a huge horde base made out of concrete and steel. But to get to that point, you need to harvest a lot of stone, a lot of iron. That's why it's important for us to be able to find some, some mines, some material. So far I've dug all the way down here, I haven't found one thing. So... We're kind of poor in those resources at the moment. Not too bad in stone, because I'm collecting that all the time. Um, and, you know, got a bit of timber up my sleeve. I've planted some more trees, so it should make collecting more timber down the path easier. Because we'll have a quite a dense... I'm not sure what that's hitting. It's not 
breaking the, the rock though. It's a bit weird. Might find a whole bunch of blocks are about to break. Oh, wow, that's a bit weird. Um, yeah, we're getting there. So this is all that, all that grind that you have to do to start with, which is it's okay. It's part of the game. So yeah, we'll, I, I never discourage getting lots of stone anyway because uh, the amount of cement you need to make is just horrific. And the, the plan is, um, you know, at the moment I've only got one forge, but I'll end up with four. So there'll be four forges in there working overtime to try to produce all the cement. And then there'll be a couple, probably a couple of workbenches. Um, and about four, pro probably four cement mixes churning away. So what's his problem? He's food and water. 36, yeah, I, I could go a whole one of those. <coughs> Excuse me. I will use one of them, which is the red tea, and I'll also use the goldenrod tea. How's that? That'll up my water by about 48. It won't won't max out my water, but it will certainly stop him complaining about being thirsty, and it will help my stamina, my stamina regen. So even at the moment, as I'm digging away here, you can see my blue stamina bar in the bottom left-hand corner there. Maximum's 125. It's just going up and down all the time. It's not going all the way down. Um, and that obviously gets better and better as you put in a few. Um, points into some of the other perks like increasing um, sexual T-Rex skill that will certainly help your stamina um, and there's a few other things like cardio that you could probably do as well um, I haven't really kind of done anything in that area yet um, but you know you can't you can't do everything <laughs> you wish you could do everything but you, this is part of the game it's a bit of a grind and a process of being rewarded for all the hard work you do um, like, kind of a lot like life, really. Um, alright, so now I'm kind of s building this base in a sort of a symmetrical, um, shape, I guess. I'm getting a bit of this other side of the wall done, which is good. Um, and then I'll get out to that seven limit and then close it off and then all you do then is just dig another doorway you know through through into another area and keep expanding the base and do whatever you want that's the beauty of all these games is that you know you can just customize everything how you want to make it three four five so I've still got two more to go and then we've reached this limit on this side I think the way I'd like to do it, and you know, this is up to you, you can do whatever you want in your own game, that's the cool part about it, you know, use your imagination and creativity skills to do whatever you want, build whatever you want, and seven days gives you those tools, oh, absolutely, I love games that do that, it's got heaps of different um, building materials and building items, you can change the shapes, they've done an awesome job, really probably thought that through quite thoroughly, but um, yeah, love it. It's fantastic. Initially, I don't mind being a little bit boring in that creativity sense that I just want to make a, a big square box, <laughs> make some room, and then put lots of storage down here and go out and have fun looting the world and bringing back all sorts of cool stuff. Because a game's basically um, the AI, however it's been written, is really just looking at, I think, what you've got, and then implementing enemies according to what armor you've got or what weapons you've got and so on so it's trying to match which, which is okay if it didn't do that it'd be pretty boring you know uh, is there a block down in the corner here Put my light on there you go I don't think it's too dark for you to see while I'm taping but um, in the future I might have to well, the further I get away from these light sources, the darker it will get, so... See, look at that, while I've been talking in that, we've almost got this 
part of the base to this point now where we've stretched it right to this side. So look at that, that's that's pretty much the length on both sides it has to be, so it'll be a, a nice decent sized room. I don't like being too closed in, like have a bit of space to move around. Um, especially multiplayer versions of the game, you just don't want to have everyone tripping over each other kind of thing. A bit of space there for everyone. So let me just double check. I'm pretty certain now this is where the wall is going to be. So let's have a look. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six, six, six. Yes. I think this is now the wall. Um, so let me just have a quick look at the map. Where am I on the map? I'll zoom in. So I've dug down from where my bed is almost, across under the road to where I am. Okay, so just behind me and just fractionally north of me is iron. So that means if I dig this area back in this direction, in that direction, yeah, pretty much like that, that's where there's probably going to be iron. So that, that'll be a good find. Um, I'll just quickly put a couple of blocks down to represent this corner and this wall. And then we'll go in the other direction and hopefully we pick up some iron while we're digging. And look, the iron's not a square block either, it's, if you can imagine, almost a random vein. Kind of tracks in different directions and what have you. Um, it just becomes a bit hard to know exactly where the iron's running, but just go generally in that direction and you should find it. Should be all good. Alright, let's see. Just while I'm here, let's make another block of 22. Is that all? That's all the base? Really? Wow, that didn't take long. Um, okay. So this now should be go three blocks and then I'll have a doorway. So that um, should be um, the wall. So the next one I do, so if I went back this way, I might make the door for this end and then I know where I stand sort of thing. Is it three is enough? I think it is. I'm pretty certain it is. See, the little pickaxe is done pretty well. I mean, you just need to get it up a few levels for it to start to really mine quite quickly. So this is the base. Put a few in the ground here. Let's just repair that again. And this will then be the... Hang on, how many got? One, two, three. So this is actually the door here. There's another point. So it should be like that. I'll leave that till I can get this dug out a little bit more. I don't want to be smacking the blocks accidentally, so but yeah, it's all all starting to take shape, so all good. The other thing too is you can randomly just pick up stuff. All of a sudden there can just be a bit of sand in the way and you go, hang on. There's something here, you know. You all of a sudden start picking up iron or lead or nitrate or whatever's in the area. Alright, so let's just try this. So that is the edge of the wall, which is there. That is actually the door frame. So let's just throw another torch just there. So that's what it kind of should look like, and we're going to dig all this stuff out in here now. So that's the distance to the middle. So we've got to do the same on this side as well. Okay, well that's pretty good. Um, I might have to revisit my points really quickly because I've got two. Now... So, in Intellect I did put a point into Advanced Engineering. Eventually I'm going to have to do this to start looking at making a mini bike and a motorcycle. Not too fussed about a bicycle, to be honest. <laughs> um, but strength-wise, yeah, these are all waiting for me to get up to level five, so I might have to 
put a few points into that. Now I'm level 5. I'm ready to do another minor 69er. Certainly the food. Be able to do pack meal fairly soon and that one. So when I'm about to go out and loot again, um, that's when I really want to put a point in the pack meal because it'll make it easier to carry stuff back to the base. So you can see my skill points at the bottom or the top of my toolbar is showing that kind of uh, purple coloured line moving from left to right. So it's probably, I don't know what that is, about 10%, 15% of the way across. It's got a fair way to go yet. But just keep grinding away at the digging side of things and before you know it you've um, got another skill point. So that's a fair bit of digging that I've done so far. Um, I might have to leave this episode here. Um, I guess I kind of did a fair bit of grinding to get this thing started. I've got a fair bit of this area already dug out now in terms of the length, so that's that's looking pretty good. But um, yeah, there's a lot to go yet. Let's have a look. <coughs> quite sure. I was going to say, what happened to my block? I think my block is there, it just hasn't rendered it in there. You go. Alright, well we're we're gradually getting there and we're almost through the night. Um, so the exciting thing will be whether that we find some iron in this direction, so we're not yeah, it's kind of just in front of me there, just above the Trev Dog name on the map, you can see a brown dot it's just in front of me there, so yeah Odds are we dig a bit further and we'll find some iron, but we'll find out in the next few episodes. How's that going? Yeah, see, it's already got 4,000 stone in there already, which is pretty good. Alright, well I might leave this episode here, and when we come back we'll be able to do a little bit more mining and then um, head up to the surface and do some more looting. That'll be for episode 5. Alrighty, thanks everyone. Uh, if you really like this video, um, just smash the like button if you want to be notified of more videos uh, uploaded to the channel. By all means, subscribe. Okay, thanks everyone. Cheers.